on the Sunday following Thanksgiving that you still had the wherewithal to come and not let the cold weather uh, keep you at home. Uh, let us pray. Dear God, our Father, we, your children, we bow, we plead, we pray that you have mercy on us, that you give us that which we cannot give ourselves, that you speak to us, that you teach us, that you forgive us for all of our sins, bless us with what we need, go with those who are sick, body or mind, go with those who are tired, and soul or spirit. Go with those who are thirsty physically and spiritually. Feed us, dear Master, till we want no more. In your darling Son, Jesus, the Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank God. For those who have your Bibles, turn with me to the 18th chapter of John, the gospel, of, the, the gospel of Jesus according to John, the 18th chapter, beginning at the 34th verse. Beginning at the 34th verse, and it said, Jesus answered him, Are you speaking for yourself about this, or did others tell you this concerning me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth he is my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Come by here tonight on my way to that new Jerusalem. To ask the question, what is truth? What is truth? Everyone thinks they know the truth. We live in a day and age where we got a lot of know-it-alls. Um, never seen in my life so many just genius people <laughs> that they 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 just know everything. Yeah. They 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 know everything that there is to know about anything that needs to be known. They, they, they know everything. You tell them something, well, I already know that. And, and you, you ask them something, and thank you, and, 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 and before you can finish the question, well, I already know that. And, 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 and sometimes it can get a little 
frustrated. He can get on your nerves, but we see that there's been this distortion of truth. There's been this distortion of truth since the day Since the days of garden, the Garden of Eden and Adam and Eve, uh, we have this, this, this fallen angel um, that we call Lucifer, who has always sought to distort the truth. Um, the Bible calls him the, 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 the prince of liars. He, 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 he is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And, and, and this, this Satan, this, this fallen angel, this, this Lucifer sought even in the very beginning to distort what is the truth. Uh, and, and Webster defines the truth as the quality or state of being true. Um, what, what is true? And, 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 and what the devil wants to do is he wants to distort what is true, what is known. Eve and Adam knew that what was known was that they should not eat of the forbidden fruit. The devil distorting the truth, uh, saying that, and the reason, and then the messed up part that they did was that they tried to give the devil a reason for why they were not going to eat all of the forbidden fruit. But all the devil needs is an inch. You, you, you and I have to learn how to, when we're talking to some folk, when we're talking to know-it-alls, we, we, don't, we don't owe them an explanation. Amen. 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 Like, Amen. We, 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 don't, we don't owe them uh, an, an, an explanation. Some people who know it all, all they need to know is yes and no. Yeah, for sure. Because anything in addition to that is how you get messed up. Most politicians, uh, uh, Bill Clinton for one, uh, uh, Donald Trump for another, they, they, they mess up and not the answer, but it's the explanation Amen. of the answer. So I did not have relations with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. And, and, and he went through this whole mess about, about, about what he is, he is. And, and if he had only said just one or two words, would have saved himself some hardship. Your president, Donald Trump, we did not have anything to do with the Russians. We all know that's a, a, a I'm not going to say, I call it about a lie. Um, but, 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 sometimes the more you talk, the deeper the hole you put yourself in. You, you start volunteering information. She just asked you why you didn't call me back. You had to go into, I was hanging out with Tyrone. And Tyrone had my phone. Yeah. And my phone died. And and that's that but see, I just but see what you don't know is while you were gone, Tyrone called me. Yeah. 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 Say it. You see, and so and so sometimes, brothers, you have to learn how to just say, Well, I just I'm not bad. I didn't call you back. But it's when you try to explain. Mm -hmm. It's when you get into Trouble and Eric if I do hate the song say I think you better call Tyrone. And, and you but you can't use my phone as you go. Tell him to come pick up your stuff. Amen. And so and so but lying is what is what is what the devil does and, and what he does and try to distort the truth is that he uses explanations that we give when we when we even rationalize I make try to make sense out of what the enemy is trying to, to disprove. And, 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 and so what we have here, what we have here is because we know that the enemy, even the word that God has given you on tonight, his main objective is as soon as you hear the word, 
As soon as it is poured into your soul, as soon as you receive it in your spirit, it is the devil's job to go in and try to snatch it and distort the very truth that God is giving you on tonight. It is his job to send his demons. To the, as soon as the words leave the mouth of the preacher and enter into your hearing, it is his job. He's not going to wait till you get in the car. He's not going to wait until the benediction. He immediately begins to go to work in causing you to lose focus or distort the word of God. Because the enemy does not want you to know the truth. And one thing about this truth, the one thing about this truth, the one thing about this truth is, is, is the, 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 the definition of aletheia. That's, that's the Greek word for the English word truth in the Bible. And, 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 and it truly means in reality, in fact. In reality, in fact. Something that is reality and something that is fact. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to sing this because when I say what is truth, what is what is truth? Oftentimes, the answer that you give is not the truth; it's a goal. What, what are you talking? For most of us, our truth is embarrassing. So we give people what we hope to be versus who we really are. We live an Instagram page. We live a Facebook page. What does that mean? You only post the pictures after you've taken them 20 times. Yeah. You got the right angle, the right light, and you put you publish a post that picture. But that ain't your reality. Yeah. Are you on Snapchat and you and you and you gloss over your face, put a tiara around your head, <laughs> superimpose a dog tongue on your mouth, Amen. and you post that. On Snapchat. That is not reality. <laughs> that is not <coughs> truth. <coughs> that is an illusion <coughs> of who you are. That is an <coughs> avatar, even, of who you, in fact, are. Most of us don't introduce people into our reality. We introduce them to the goal of who we want to be. You, very few people in this world really know you. We have become professional liars and the stores in who we are. And sometimes you can get so good that you don't even know who you are yourself. Yeah. You got everybody thinking your life is all together. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. That's what you publish. That's, that's what you post. That's what you tell your friends or your family. The church, I oh, like this and that. On the inside, you are a mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You tell folk your goal and not your reality. Mm -hmm. And your reality is truly your truth. Yeah. That's your truth. You tell people, well, you know, I'm, I'm just humble. And if, if you have to tell people <laughs> that you are humble, right, right. that is proof positive that you are not. Correct. Humble is the one that the, is the one adjective that you can't give yourself. 
Amen. 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 You, you, you cannot tell people that you are. They, they're supposed to see that and, and tell you that. You know, you humble. You modest. Like folks saying, and you heard them this week. So I know I can cook. Mm -hmm. I don't care what, and then, and then you know they got a, a fake reality, a, a goal. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. I know I'm fine. Oh, that means that she the only one saying she fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when you hear me, I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> Whatever comes after that is their goal. Yes. And not their reality. That's right. I know I can cook. That's the goal. She want, or he wants to be able to cook. Or she wants to look good. But their reality is something different. <laughs> it's different. It's different. And and, and 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 if we are children of God, we all need to know the truth. Because the Bible says the truth. Will set you free. Yeah. Stop living a lie. Some folk go into debt mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. to live a lie. Amen. Want folk to think you got money. Amen. And what you got is credit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, after your credit is used up, you use your children's credit. Lord have mercy. You ain't got money, you got credit. And if you keep using that, you won't have that for long. We need to be honest and tell somebody, I'm broke. Yeah, man. Tell your friends what you tell the church when the collection plate is passed around. You want to be rich everywhere else. You, you rich on the job, you rich at family reunion, you rich around Christmas season, you rich with your girlfriend, you 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 rich, you balling. <laughs> but come to take them to church, ladies. Yeah, yeah. Come take them to church, sisters, and, and, and watch what he does when that collection please come around. Well, I gotta go use the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be right. <laughs> Every other day, he rich. Yeah. But when we come to church, we get broke. That's his goal. Monday morning, I feel great. Sunday morning, oh, I'm just so tired. Don't know if I can make the church today. We need to stop lying. <clears throat> To everybody, yeah. including ourselves. What is true? Who are you really? Are you this kind, happy, go lucky person? <coughs> or are you weak and fragile? Yeah. Do you really need the validation of, of, of compliments from other people? Who are you without your makeup on? Uh oh. I don't even know. Who are you? I don't know. Without that new dress on. Do you have to have a new outfit for every homecoming? Well. Aww. To feel like you are pretty or handsome. Do you have to have every pair of the bronze or Jordan that comes out? Or the newest cell phone that comes out. Do, do, who are you outside of those things? What is truth? And for most of us, we don't know because we've been living a lie for so long. And we have defined ourselves by the things that we can purchase. We have to find ourselves by the things that we cover ourselves with. 
And so you can buy 200 pairs of shoes and have nowhere to go. You can spend $200 on your head, but don't have a place to lay it down. Mm. You stay in somebody else's house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> Who are we trying to be? What is truth? Jesus says in this text, that those who are of the truth hear my voice. Meaning that for those who, who come from the truth, those who, who know the truth, hear my voice. And another part of the Bible, he says, my sheep know my voice. A stranger, they will not follow. Basically, the devil, they will not follow because we know the voice of our shepherd. Yeah. And a stranger, a Satan's voice, this, this liar who tells us we need all of these other things, that's the devil. He, you, you need everything else. You, you, need, you, need, you need the new house. You need the new hair. You need the new shoes. You need the new dress. You need all of these things to feel special. You, you got to have the latest dish. You, 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 you have to be able to take 30 pictures before you, because you got to find the right one. You, you, you have to do all of these things to, to be pretty and, and, and to be handsome or to be accepted. You, you have to get the best cologne and, and you have to get the best cash. You, you just have to do all of these things for people to like you. But Jesus will tell you the world will hate you because it first hated me. And I don't care how many pairs of shoes you buy. I don't care how many different hairstyles you get. I don't, I don't care how many cars you own. The, the world will never love you. Because the world never loved me. So why spend all your living trying to gain the acceptance of a world that if you know my voice, if you follow my voice, if you obey my voice, this world will never love you. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, this world is enmity, an enemies of the will of God. And so this world constantly takes up whatever God says, yeah. the world says something else. Yeah. Well, it, it, it could be something very mundane or minute, but if God says it, the world goes against it. Because the world hates God. Because this world listens to Satan. The word of God says God made the world. Satan don't say no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He showed me. The word of God says that, that God made male and female. No, he didn't. You can change that. You can go to the doctor. Women can be men. <laughs> men can be women. Yeah. Anything to go against Amen. the word of God. Hey, anything. I mean, the smallest to the largest. Just to be. You ever met somebody that just had whatever you said? Yeah. They said just, I don't care what it is. It just, just to be contrary, just to start an argument, you say the sky is blue. Well, no, nah, I think it's kind of orange myself. It's not. It's not blue. They just got to find a disagreement. They want to argue with you at all costs. They want to get you out of who you know God is making you to be. And so what God wants us to do is when we encounter folk like that, we shake the dust from our feet. Yeah, yeah. Bible says don't argue with a fool. Amen. Amen. 
Because the passerby won't be able to tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> I just said it, so. That's right. yeah. Yeah. You let your yay be yay and your nay right. be nay. Right. But don't you sit there arguing with the fool. Yeah. When folks show you who they are, mm -hmm. believe them. Yeah. Leave the converge to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You pray for them. For the prayer, but you let God do the rest. Cause folk will, have, and I've been, I, I would try to sit and talk my wife, my witness, she, my, her, and my dad. Sometimes, why don't you just leave these folk alone? <laughs> they want to believe what they want to believe. Just let them believe it. You tell them what the truth is, yeah, yeah. and you be gone. But you know what? But you know what? I, I went to school with my kids. But they but let them believe when you told them you did your Christian duty. You told them what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And if they still want to go do foolishness. Amen. And that's on them. You have your hands. Because you know the truth. And the thing I love about the Bible, every time it says the word truth, it only has the in front of it. Yeah. Say, Jesus says in this text that, that uh, I, I bear witness to the truth. Yeah. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. The reason why they have the in front of it, the is a definite article. Yeah. It specifies, exclusifies what it is talking about. There is only, beloved, one truth. Yeah. The mm -hmm. truth. The truth. That's why Jesus says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. You cannot come to the Father except by me. The only time truth is not listed with a definite article is when Pontius Pilate asked the question in verse 38. What is truth? He sought to ask the question. He sought to ask the question in a way where it really showed he didn't understand what it was. Because instead of saying what is the truth, he says what is true. As if there could be several truths. And I imagine, because it doesn't record what Jesus said, I imagine when he asked this question, the Bible says, Pilate said to him, what is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said, I find no fault in him. I imagine when he asked Jesus what is true, Jesus gave him one of those looks. Like, really? You asking me, after I've just told you, when you ask me, am I the king? I say, yeah, you are. You're right, I am. And I came to bear witness to the truth. And those who know the truth hear my voice. And then for Pontius Pilate to come back and say, well, what is true? Jesus is not known to be the one who repeats himself. Amen. Probably gave Pontius Pilate one of those looks. Are you serious? But whatever Jesus said or did convinced Pontius Pilate enough to leave his presence and say, hey y'all, I don't know what y'all think this man did. I find no fault in him. Because I believe Pontius was convicted for the first time in his life he had an encounter with the truth. Jesus probably caused Pontius Pilate's mind to go back into his subconscious. 
And Jesus probably showed Pontius what his truth was. He probably showed Pontius the thing that Pontius thought nobody knew about but him. And that's what the Lord does. The Lord can look at us and be looking right through us because he knows all about us. He sees you when you are sleeping. He knows when you Oh, well, he knows if you have been bad or good. So be good for goodness. Oh, you better watch out. You better not out. You better watch out. I'm telling you why. Because one day Jesus is coming to town. He is coming Yeah. He's checking it twice. He's finding out who is naughty or nice. Jesus, marriage baby. Yeah. Jesus, the truth, the way of Jesus. Yeah. He's coming to town. What is your truth? Who are you? Who? I'm not asking what you do for a living. Yeah. I'm not asking what your mama's name is. I'm not asking you what your Instagram page is. I'm asking what is true. What, who are you? What is the truth about you? What is it about you that you consistently do? I don't want to know your goals or, or aspirations. I want to know who you are today. One true thing about all of us is that we all are sinners. That's the first truth you need to understand about yourself. You all, we all make mistakes. The truth about us is that we are lost. The truth about us is that we are naughty by nature. We want to be bad. <laughs> You remember that group, you know it by nature. We 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 want to be contrary. We God tell us to look forward, we want to look to the side. Yeah. We 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 were born in sin. We have to learn how to do right. Mm -hmm. But because of that, God sent his son. Thank you, God. The truth about all of us is though we were born in sin, though we are sinners. And while we were yet in our sin, Jesus died. The truth is that for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he saw our truth. He saw the wickedness of our hearts. And no, he said, I got the answer. And that answer is my son, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that we put Jesus on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Our sin put him there. Mm. But he got power over even our sin. Yeah. But he died. But he lives. He rose on the third day. And the truth is, you will never meet your goals. Yeah. You will never meet the goals that God has for you if you don't go through Jesus. Yeah. You will never be who you even want to be. Yeah. If you don't accept the first truth is that you are a sinner and you need yes. Jesus. Yeah. And you, after you give your life to him, the truth is you need to go to him every day. Amen. The truth Amen. is that even after you have confessed him, the devil doesn't stop messing with you. Yeah. He's going to keep on messing with you. Until you allow the Spirit of God to kick him on you and be the Lord and Savior of your life. And even then, he's going to try to come back. You don't have to continue to rebuke Satan until that great day when Jesus comes and throws him into the lake of fire. 
But the truth is that God has given you the greatest gift you could ever ask for. And that is the blood of Jesus the Christ. That is the sacrifice of his son. And if you but accept that, if you but take him into your life today, you are saved from the reality, the sinful, negative reality that you may live in tonight. The doors of this church are open. If there be one that says, God, I know you know. I know that you know everything that he is to know about me. I know you know the truth. I know that you know my truth. I know that you know my faults and my shortcomings. And you know my goals. But Lord, you know how weak I am. And how I would never reach the goals that you have for me and that I have placed for myself until I completely surrender my all to you. Is there anybody here tonight that says, God, I surrender my all to you. I'm so tired of being fake. I'm so tired of trying to get validation and acceptance from folk who you told me would never love me. Yeah. I give all that I can to the world, only to have the world literally spit in my face. God, I surrender everything that I have. I don't care about trying to keep up with the Joneses. I don't care about trying to look good just on the outside. But I know that the truth is, you see the heart of me. And I want you to change my heart on tonight. Take me, Lord. Mold me and make me after your will. I give you my life. I give you my soul. I give you my all. If that be you, won't you come? Won't you come now? Don't let the devil distort what God has poured out unto you today. If you need a church home, a place where you can grow to find the truth, to live the truth, we invite you here at Vernon. If you need prayer because 